They will change your guys' live, what you're about to hear, alright? What is up guys? I just wanted to butt in real quick because I wasn't able to film a like professional outro or intro for this video as it was so like just so like I don't know spur of the moment right but it is currently do you see that number? Do you see that? Oh my god, do you see that? Wait for it to focus. It's almost four in the morning right now. We hit five thousand fucking subscribers on YouTube, guys. Five thousand and I'm being really quiet right now because I'm in this like little courtyard place and there's like apartments all around me, so I can't really like talk loud, which kinda sucks. But um shit, I just wanna say thank you guys. I've only been doing this for what two and a half months? Almost I think coming up on three months and we're at like five thousand subscribers, which I think is fucking dope. To give a little backstory about what you're gonna watch, because the video is fucking long, at least like like I'm looking at the edit right now. And the footage I have is over an hour. It's probably gonna like be down to what 45 minutes maybe uh, by the time I'm done editing it all. But I just heard a window open. I hope I'm not waking anybody up. But for a little backstory, right? Basically, me and my buddy Josh were trying to go to a parking garage to film like a little motivational kind of video on like how he got his GTR and you know like to like just teach you guys like some job, just drop like some content as like a gift to you for you guys for like 5k subscribers. But we got kicked out of the parking garage. We go to the McLaren dealership because that's where Josh, my buddy, my business partner, used to go when he was like manifesting the cars he wanted in his life and that he wanted to be purchased eventually. Which we'll, like, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that, yeah? But we meet a guy there, just a random guy, who just wanted to learn from us. And I ran into the car, grabbed my camera, and just turned it on, right? And so that's what this entire like long video is gonna be about. And it's it's huge, huge content for you guys, right? So it's like honestly, it, it will change your life. If you watch the whole thing, it'll change your life. You'll probably learn a thing or two, or ten, um, or more, just just from watching the entire video. Um, just about business, your mindset, marketing, a little bit of drop shipping. We're not talking like this is not purely about drop shipping. This is just business in general and how to be successful. Because like, as much as you want, you're not gonna retire off of drop shipping, guys. And you have to realize that you're not gonna retire off of it. But through drop shipping, it opens up thousands, like hundreds of opportunities to like branch out and move on to like like bigger and better things, right? And that's that's, that's what you want to do. Um, with with the money you earn from dropshipping, right? And that, that's what I teach you guys is how to scale that stuff, automate it, and then move on to like other things like that that you're more passionate about, okay? So that's what the long ass video is about. I got my notes here. Like, oh yeah, okay, so we got kicked out of the parking garage. The guy was super chill, just his boss didn't want us there. So we go to the McLaren dealership, we meet him, we have like a huge, huge, huge long talk, which is what I was recording with. Um, you have that. Basically, if you don't know my buddy Josh, he's like my running partner. I like all these new business ventures I'm starting, we're, we're working on them together, um, which is actually a perfect time to just plug on my shit right so instagram at thaddeus strickland you'll see it on the screen always plug i got some fire content for you guys um like my facebook always try and like get back to people if you dm me on instagram um i always try like i'm flooded guys i have over 800 message requests like you guys are insane um i don't even know what to do like tip to my vlog and my lifestyle channel guys i'm trying to get more into like the whole vlog like atmosphere and like figuring that stuff out like i got the I got the vlog camera. I don't really know what to do with it. Like you, okay. All that shit will be in the description of this video. Like the X Commerce Facebook page, guys. Like that shit is going to change lives. After you watch this video, you're gonna be like, damn. We know what we're talking. Like, it sounds cocky, but like, guys, we're here to change your lives. I'm dropping this huge content for you guys for free. It's over an hour long. That like you're going to learn a thing. Like this will change. I promise you guys. Your mindset will change. Um, just like you'll be like enlightened with all this like knowledge bombs that we're dropping all right in this in this hour conversation so like the x horse facebook page that's one of the business ventures me and josh are starting up that we're trying to use to like help all you guys and then last but not least always plug if you are interested in my course there's a fat discount at the end but that's besides the point so on it's like let's just let's just get right into the to the hour-long video because that's gonna need us some time so sit back grab some popcorn or vodka if if that's your preference, I don't know. I don't know what you like, right? But yeah, again, guys, thank you for 5,000 subscribers. I will see you guys at 10,000 and beyond. We're here. We're gonna take over the game, guys. We're gonna take over. All right, we're gonna take over the game, right? God damn, dude. I think someone opened another window. And I'm whispering, man. What the fuck? All right. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the free content. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for like a better gift to give you guys for this 5,000 subscriber special because like. Like, I, like, it couldn't have turned out any better than what it did, right? So I hope this content is something you guys enjoy. Um, if you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I hope you guys learn from I mean, you will learn something from it. Um, I just hope you guys, you know, take it. Like, take notes, honestly. Uh, learn learn from this. It's a huge fat combo, but you guys will love it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys 
I'll see you guys at the end to wrap this whole baby up, all right? Enjoy. All right, we're hopping in the GTR to go up to one of these parking garages to talk some deep motivational shit, because my boy Josh here repping that GTR GTR super life, life. broski. <laughs> I got you. I'll move it. I'll move it for you. We got the string up. Hey, there we go. Hey, much love, brother. Much I got love, you. Bro. Life is all about finessing. <laughs> I just raised the tape, but we just got asked to leave <laughs> the parking structure. Ah, it's all good. We got some photos. We even come here to take photos. <laughs> Gotta do our speech. Celebrate 5K subscribers on YouTube, bro. <laughs> That's crazy! Alright, what, what, what's your name? What's your name? Kev, bro. Kevin? We Kevin, met bro. this guy, Kevin, at a McLaren dealership when I'm with my boy Josh. Crazy. What you're about to see is gonna change your lives, guys. We just had like a, what, an hour long conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, something like that. Watch that. Check it out. That's what I want you guys to do. They will change your guys' lives, what you're about to hear, alright? And it's like, you just gotta keep going, you know? Like, like no matter what. That's the thing. Light, like, <clears throat> light, the universe doesn't give a shit about you. Cause you're like you're literally a speck, bro. So it's like you just gotta keep going at it. Speak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there like you go, there you go. Really dropping, respect. dropping knowledge bombs, bro. Right, I think the, the biggest thing hands down has to be just traits, bro. Just traits in general. Um, for me, for me, oh, bro. Like, uh, I'm not. I don't consider myself like successful by any means, like compared to what's out there. But I mean, I feel like I've done like enough for my age, and. I just work my ass off, bro. <laughs> like day in, day out. But I think one of the biggest things too is not only that, but like motives. Like, if you're, if you focus on money, you focus on the impact. Uh, I, was, I was listening to a podcast one time, and the guy was saying it's like the biggest way I know somebody's gonna make money or not is like if you ask them what's their goal, they say make money. But out. <laughs> like most of the time, if their goal is make money, they're out. But if they're passionate about the marketing, or they're passionate about the actual business, or the impact, whatever it is, like that's where the money's made. And for me, bro, um, to be dead honest, like this car right here, I put all my fulfillment into that, like the last four years of my life, like that was the goal, that was the goal, that was the goal. And it kind of drove me, which is dope. And then I got it. And then I was like, I don't care, bro. Like the materialistic shit is like whatever now. Like obviously I still come at this because it's always about leveling up, but like, I'm cool with this, bro. Like I don't need this, you know? It's just something to look forward to. But now I'm like, I'm really like, all right, how can I like achieve my goals? Like you asked me like what my goal, goals were or whatever, um, like in the world. That's what it is, bro. It's the goals. So I feel like if your motive is the goals, if your motive is the impact, legacy, whatever the hell it is, that's not money. That's it, right there, bro. And people who are unsuccessful are focused on the money. And they don't, they don't get it, bro. And you, you can't get it. Right. It's making the impact. Yeah, yeah bro. Impact. It, it just comes to, dude. Now, 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 so I'll tell you guys what, bro. When I was 16, you know, mm -hmm. I, cutting hair. I started cutting hair. Cutting hair? First hustling shoes, I was selling shoes. And then there you go. Tied a t-shirts and then a uh, barbershop, you know, a little barbershop in my patio. Okay. And at 16, I said, bro, you know, I, I want to go and, and do something bigger and greater with my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't know if you, what your friends were when you were growing up or whatever. My friends didn't really believe in it. They suck. They talk yeah, shit. They yeah, don't believe it. Yeah. Percent. You know? <laughs> million percent. <laughs> <laughs> you feel right, bro. So, <laughs> that was the turn the love. Like, What's wrong with you guys? Like, think bigger, dog. Come yeah. on. Yeah, bro. So I told him that, you know, I said, I, I don't care what it takes, but I, I'm going to I'm gonna go far in life, you know? Mm -hmm. So I started making moves, bro, and my brothers were like, nah, dude, you stupid, like, stop wasting your time or whatever. Yeah. And so this, this is what I'm trying to ask you guys, like, you, how old are you guys, man? 18? 19. 19, right. For real? Yeah. Gang, okay, gang, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, bro. It's good. I turned 19 to me. There you go. So, Wait, question, I don't know if you've been asked this already, you know about this, but what would you say sparked what did you hear or see that sparked that like you know like just get it like i'm about to go get more you know i think one of the biggest things for me that at least i can remember that stuck out was my dad he told me he's like look one day you'll be 30 years old you're gonna be 30 years old doing everything like you dreamed of because you took chances you took risk uh whatever it is or you're gonna be 30 years old you know hating your job because you decided to go work you know, you decided to do the traditional system, and then, or whatever it is, it's like either way, you're gonna be 30 years old. So you choose. So I'm like, you know, like, for me, I'm like, yo, I can be 30 years old, I can go to college for 10 years, I can, you know, be in debt, you know, I can do this like that, and be struggling, or I can fucking hustle my ass off, you know, eat shit for a few years, and then at 30 years old, be balling. So I was like, that's the route I'm going. So when he told me that, it was like, 
time's the essence, bro. Time is like, you know, time is already exists, bro. It's just like a concept. So I'm just like, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna get it now, you know? I'm just gonna get it now. So just work my fucking ass off, bro. Put in the work, speed up the learning curve. And from there, bro, it just becomes addicting. It's like, it becomes a habit. Like getting what you want is like, it's not, for, for me at least, it's not like, I don't come in here, bro, I'm like, this is not my dream car, bro. Like, it's just my next car. <laughs> you know what I mean? I look at a Bugatti, it's like, it's not my dream car, bro. It's just 10 cars down the line. <laughs> yeah, I like you know that. what I mean? So it's just a different way of thinking, I think, like, you know, the way your, your um, mind is wired, bro. I think when, when my dad told me that, I was like, click. <laughs> you know, click. Yeah. That was me. What, what would you say was yours? So I want to ask you, and then, I, and then I'll... Uh, yeah, mine. Oh, shoot, bro. This is about to get deep, bro. You want to hold that? I got you. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. So basically, my dad worked at Microsoft, right? For like, sorry, like 15 years. And then I was in eighth grade, and he came home one day and he got laid off, just, just like that. And I was just like, man, like, fuck a job, bro. Like none of that's secure. It's like you can just get like kicked off the dirt, just like, just like just like that. And it's just like, man, I gotta like do something myself. And it, it like it kind of resonated with me, but I didn't do anything until junior year of high school. That's when I really got started in business. And then, well, and then they started. Well, business, like, like, just cause I mean, like I was doing really good in soccer, right? Like I had full rides scholarships soccer in soccer. Yeah, I had full what rides and everything. But uh, right, uh, right mid in the striker, so that's what I did. But uh, I gave that because I didn't see myself playing pro, right? And I wanted to be like really successful. I want to like inspire people. So, like, I, I like to inspire people like content. I love content creation. I love doing all that stuff. So I like to inspire and like help people. That's why I made like a YouTube channel. Always plug. <laughs> Literally, that's 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 like that's my main like goal. I guess is just to inspire people. So like, they can like reach their dreams because it's fucking hard, man. Like the shit like people have to do to like level up and get into it's, it's hard. But I mean, you can, it's the consistency, it's all consistency. That's really what it comes down to, and so. so that was my main motivation. I was like, yo, my dad worked like 15 years at Microsoft and just got his ass worked by them for like no reason. He was like, he was literally like a high exec up there. And like, I mean, he's doing good now at T-Mobile, but like, it's chill. It's I, I, actually, bro, let me tell you um, one thing real quick. So like, that was my thing at first, but like, so what really happened, bro, kind of changed, uh, shifted my business. And I literally, I didn't tell anybody about this for like six, like six months, probably having like, eight months ago, I want to say. But um, the beginning of 20, 2017, bro. So for me, like, you know how you're talking about like, your friends didn't believe in you and stuff like that. So for me, like, I was always like, filled by like, all right, prove the haters wrong, prove the people that don't believe in me wrong. Like, I, you know, everybody's gonna, you know, think this when I do that. And my goal was like, it was really just like, to make myself feel better, I guess, by proving everybody wrong. And I remember one of my homies, bro, um, he, he used to tell me like, your brand won't, but he was like my boy. So like when I came to basketball, he was my boy. Uh, he went to all my games. He supported me. I was the first guy he met. He came from a different country, uh, and I was the first guy he met when he came to California. But when I started my business like last year of high school, this dude's like for some reason just talking shit, bro. They didn't believe in me. Like you're not gonna be able to do this. Um, you're not. Your brand's not gonna be around in six months. You're not gonna be making any money. You're gonna be broke. You're not gonna be getting your green car, whatever it was. And I was like, like it fired me up, bro. I'm like, all right, you know, let's bet on it, you know, like, I'm, I'm guaranteed, like, cause I knew in my mind, like, I'm the type of person to make shit happen no matter what, and I literally filmed it, bro, so I literally got my phone, and oh, I was like, are you? Really? yeah, and I'm like, yo, I was like, we're making a bet right now, I'm here with my boy, she doesn't believe I'm gonna do this, and he's hearing back, like, I'm not, bro, like, I'm wasting your time right now, and one of my, like, all my homies in the background, like, like, staring it up, you know, like, hey, like, is he gonna do it, da, 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 but, like, long story short, I forget about the video, I go to college, um, I'm in college for a few months, I end up dropping out of college to go full time with my business. And I'm going through my photos, bro, just going through my old photos. I find that video, bro. And I, like, I haven't talked to this kid in like five months, dog, from, since I graduated high school. Even though he was like my boy in high school, but I was just so focused on my business, I cut everybody from high school off. And I'm going through there, and I'm like, oh shit, like, I did all these goals that he said I couldn't do in, in that amount of time. And then so I, I sent it in a, in a group message, bro, to him and all the people in the background that are hyping it up. And he didn't reply, but everybody else replied. I like, still trying to be like skeptical at first, like nah, you didn't actually, or you didn't do that. I'm like, no, I did. Here's screenshots, here's proof, like here's evidence. And they're like, fuck, bro. I guess you proved us wrong. But the actual guy, I wanted to like see it, didn't reply to a group message. And so a couple months go by, I'm not thinking about it. But like I remember like how it just filled me. And this is when it got crazy, bro. So he, like when I started like seeing like success, bro, a lot of people from my high school started reaching out for me, like haters and people that talk shit. But this guy had a super super big ego. And it's cool because like I'm kind of the same way. Like we both kind of always want to be right. So we're always like, even though he's my boy, we're always arguing back and forth. Like he's the type of person that would be like, I'll, I'll be like, bro, the basketball court's ten feet tall. And he's like, no, nah, bro, it's twelve feet. I'm like, bro, the NBA 
freaking hoop or an NBA website says 10 feet. Anybody? Nah, bro, but I know it's 12 because I can't reach 12 feet, but I can reach 10 feet. Like, like even though it says it in writing, so he just always wanted to be right. And I, just, I don't even know how many months passed by, bro, but he shoots me a text. Yo, bro, super proud of what you've been doing. I'm so sorry for hating on you, talking shit back on the day. Just want to let you know I'm proud to call you my bro. Like, keep going, bro. Everyone in the hometown is like cheering you on. And for me, I'm like, fuck, should I reply to this guy? <laughs> like, he was a hater. So I just like kind of blow him off, like flex on him one time, <laughs> this type of thing. And then I'm realizing, but I do, I remember, bro, like how big his ego is. I'm like, yo, like for him to text me that, like, that's some real shit, you know? So I hit him, I wait like 12 hours and I hit him back. Like, yo, bro, I really appreciate that, like, hearing that from you, like, really means the world to me. I was like, thank you so much. And another 12 hours, bro, after I send that, I fucking get a phone call from one of my high school coaches, like, said he's on my basketball team. And here's the crazy, like, this, is, like, this is crazy, bro. Like, like he's, he told me, bro, he's like, your friend died. Like, the guy's, uh, I don't want to say his name, but the guy, at, he texted me, bro. He's like, he passed away in a car accident, like, last night. Like, literally, like, a few hours after he texted me, he's like, there was something in the road, and he tried swerving, and the car came around, hit him, like, spot on, and, like, died on instinct. And I'm like, fuck, like, <laughs> I'm like, did that really just happen? Like, and I was thinking, bro, like, this whole time I was motivated by, like, proving people wrong. But I'm like, and then he came, he came, like, clean to me, bro. He came clean to me. And then, like, I'm realizing, like, yo, like, I would take that all back. Like, I don't care about proving anybody wrong. Like, just to have him around. Like, even though I didn't kick it with him, I was like, that's still my boy. I got a lot of memories with him. I was like, I'm not doing this shit to prove people wrong, bro. Like, I'm doing this shit for myself to prove myself right. And I'm doing it for all the people who quit because like how you said, like friends like don't believe in you or friends hate on you. And a lot of those people quit. Like, I didn't quit, but a lot of those people quit. So I was like, I'm doing it for them, bro. <laughs> I'm doing it to inspire these people so they don't quit, so they can keep going. And like, since then, bro, my whole brand shifted. Everything like I do now is like, like, like before like, it's not materialistic. It's not about proving people wrong. It's really just about like, like helping people like do what they really want to do, bro. And, like. That shit was just crazy, bro. Like, I try not to get like emotional or anything about it. Cause I try to look for the positive outcome of the situation right away. Like, I did like a charity like um, thing in his name and stuff like that. Like right after, and it was weird. Cause like I said, I cut everybody off from high school, bro. So I go back to my hometown and like I deactivated like my Twitter from high school. I hop back on Twitter and like I planned this big event, got hundreds and hundreds of retweets. And, like all these people came out and like everyone's kind of looking at me cause like they'd be watching me on social media, but none of them like like they all were, like the people that talk shit back on me. And now they're like, everyone came together, bro. I came together in peace, came together in harmony. Everyone's like, you know, remembering my buddy. And I'm just like, fuck, like, it changed my perspective, changed my brand, changed my purpose, I think. And so I looked for the positive situation on that right away. And now, bro, like, like when I cry, like, I'm grinding for that. I'm grinding for him, bro. Like, when I hustle, when I, like, when I want to leave a legacy, it's for things like that. And not necessarily to, like, like, just, like, buy, like, shit like this, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool. It gets me fired up, but it's like so much bigger, bro. So that, that's actually the biggest thing recently I figured out that that drives me now that changed everything. Because before, bro, it was like I was like super materialistic, and now it's like it's not about that at all, bro. <laughs> so that's that's the biggest thing for me actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sharing the moment. <laughs> you. Hey, you know, I I want to commend you guys, bro. Like, yeah. That, that, you got a big heart, bro. Appreciate that, bro. I was dope that. Oh shit, the lights just came off. Ooh. It's dope that he just came through, bro, and started talking. And I haven't met anybody randomly before, bro, that asked us those questions, bro. So I like that. It's you know, I I just I, I come out here and literally, bro, like I don't know, maybe two, three times a week, you know, two, three times a week. And, and I just I'm looking at my whip, bro. Like you know, yeah. I, I really it, it, what I what I'm trying to say is I come here, bro, and I look at this, and, and I, it's usually nobody out here. Like yeah, it's just me, you know. And yeah. It's crazy that I, 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 I mean, you guys are here today. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you guys have the same dreams or and or ambitions. You yeah. Know? And whatever crazy. that may be. Crazy. You know, like leaving. You said, the the purpose you just you just mentioned. You know. Yeah, yeah. Leaving an impact in the world. You know. Yeah. You just don't see that, bro. And I, I it is, we're all 19. You know. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I don't see 30 year olds here. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I gave up already. <laughs> Honestly. So, but I really commend you guys. Keep doing what you, I don't know what you guys are doing, but whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah, not so much you. for what you're doing, it's more the fact that you're trying to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, mm -hmm. I don't know what, what skill you're doing yet, but the fact that you're thinking about doing that. Yeah. That's like, you know? Yeah. For real. 
You know? It's crazy. So you said your name was Josh. Josh, yeah. And your name was? Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Thaddeus, yeah. Is that like Greek? Yeah. It can be Greek if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Greek, yeah. <laughs> so, are you guys from Cal? From yeah, uh, he's from Cali. Like Irvine. Irvine. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Seattle, but I'm making the move down to Cali oh, next oh, month or so. Out here. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach is like that's minutes. that's nearby, yeah. yeah. It's like 20, 20, 20 minutes that way. Or that way. Yeah. 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 So, wait, that way. So I'm guessing like something to do with like uh, YouTube. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel called Business with Addy. It's always plug. What we do, right? We're just trying to document. Like, yeah, we're like content. we just started our channels, and we're trying to like. Again, I told you I like to inspire people, so anyone I can help, I try. So like the hustle's online, but we're like, might as well start filming it, building the brand, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just a ton of vlogging. Basically, we just started. started. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can call it that. Something of the sorts. So, so kind of, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. So now, why, why did you? What, what are you doing? Like, what business are you building? Um, uh, e-commerce, SaaS businesses, so like services online, like softwares and stuff like that. Um, affiliate marketing, like pretty much anything, like any way to make money online, like we're there, bro. Like, like, yeah, we're, we're on it. Yeah, you know I man. Hold on, uh, let me ask you a better question. Yeah. Would you work an hourly job? Never. Well, you, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely. Yeah. Why? Tell, tell them why, though. Tell them why. Why not? Uh, it's literally it's just like the, like the key to wealth and making money is like taking time out of the equation. Like yeah. all these jobs, you know, it's like you get paid like like by time, right? And there's only 24 hours in a day. It's like how much can you work? If you look at all the top businesses, billion dollar companies popping up nowadays, every single one of them takes away like time. Like Uber, like that's convenient, bro. You're not waiting on a taxi, not looking for a taxi, not calling for a taxi. Boom, 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 boom. Save you time. Airbnb, not looking for a hotel, you're not looking for the craziest place. It's just boom, hop on, got a crib for the weekend. Boom, takes away time. Uh, even in social media, bro, you, Twitter, Instagram, there's like news popping off. You don't have to go home, watch it on the news. Boom, it's on the internet, it's on Twitter, it's right in front of your face. It's like, takes away time. You know, Snapchat, you know, you don't have to send videos. You, you don't have to film and send it to somebody and have a load and email it. It's just like, boom, do a quick little video and send it to somebody. So it's like, all these things are taking away time. And I, I tell you what, bro, I made over five figures in a day before. There's no way in hell I would ever like after seeing that because I, I did that in, i did that in college bro before i dropped out so after doing that i'm like i ain't never worked an hour <laughs> job bro like and, and it just comes down to i think creativity and like hard work and stuff but like so i can make five figures in a day selling rocks like going up and down the street if i really wanted to bro you know what i mean it's just like it's a different way of being wired bro so it's just like not only that but i hate fucking listening to people I really do, bro. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I used to get in trouble so much in like school just because I teach every time I do some shit and I wouldn't do it. My parents always they do the dishes, do, and I just no. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like I can't do it, bro. Yeah, the young thing. You know what I mean? So exactly. Yeah. So you, you, it's time. So you wouldn't have to sell your time. Yeah, literally. Okay. So how many, how many hours a day you got? Uh, I would say, like, what? What's twenty four? Twenty four. Yeah, and you, you sleep for eight, right? And you probably you do something social with friends, something maybe a few hours a day, something or work out, do something like that. How, how many hours can you work a day to get paid hourly? Like what? Eight hours maybe, eight nine hours somewhere around there, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then that's as much as you can work. And the only way to make more is by spending more of your time, right? And you don't have unlimited time, so you just gotta separate time from the equation. I, I tell and then you what, boom, bro, and then and then you can scale from there exponentially. Yeah, like I tell you what, bro. Like I have a, um, a consulting agency. And we have like eight different coaches that we have like a sales team, stuff like that. And like they do calls anywhere from like 250 bucks an hour, two hours, it's like up to a thousand bucks. Like for me, bro, I try to do like a thousand bucks to do like a one hour call, like teaching people how to do like online. But I don't do them. I won't do the calls. I tell my team, like, yo, don't book me a call. And they're like, well, it's a thousand bucks, it's an hour. I'm like, no. <laughs> Like, I, I can't do it for an hour, bro. Like, and it's not even a fact. Like, even if I wasn't even gonna make a thousand bucks that day, and it's like, all right, do a call for uh, an hour for a thousand bucks, or don't make any money at that day, I would not make any money. And, I, and it might sound like, and it might sound like narcissistic, or some people might say it's like, I don't know, it's really selfish, whatever it is, but it's like, I value my time so much, and I think that my creativity can think of so many more ideas that will help me long term compared to like a quick thousand bucks that like I'd rather not, you know what I mean? And uh, it's just like, it's just so different, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so It's so different, it's crazy. Yeah. So you, people don't know that, like, that's what I'm trying to say. That's yeah. what I'm asking, people, people don't look at it like that. I don't. Know. Like, no, people don't. You get a job, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Ever. Mm -hmm. 
you know? So I, I don't know. You guys, you guys want to inspire people, I think, that a lot of people don't know. Did it work? Do you yeah. feel Do you feel inspired? That's, yeah, that's legit. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go. I commend you guys. I commend you guys. Yeah, right. A lot of people, it really just thinks for the money, bro. Like some people see what we do and they're like, oh, just for the money. I'm like, bro, fuck the money, bro. <laughs> I got Honestly. my money, bro. I got my car, bro. I have my friends. I have good people around me, bro. I have family. Like, I can give two fucks. Like, like rally is making money, building businesses is way more fun to me than actually having money, bro. Like, to me, it's like, it's like a game, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, all right, like, how can I like get money from here to here to here? But it's like, I don't even got to touch the money, but I just want to make it. If, if mm -hmm. I made like 10,000 a day, bro, it was all just going to like this account that I wasn't touching, that would be way more fun to me, bro. And it making a thousand a days that I actually could keep. Like straight up, like, it's just it's so different. <laughs> so now what, what, I don't know, I want to ask you some questions, but off camera, like just us. Off, yeah, off the yeah, vlog. Just us, just right. us. <laughs> Virtual assistants for days, bro. But I don't know if you guys know this or, or like you were aware of it, but you look at a, a, a business owner, okay? If he, he has employees, they're, they're really tools of leverage. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It gives you more time. That's what I'm saying. About it. Yeah. So one of the things that fucking like drives, drives me every day is like, whatever it is I have to do, I'll do it, you know, on my own terms. Though. Yeah. Like, I would never be a tool of leverage for another man. Right. I think my life is too, too valuable for that. You know? I'm <laughs> But it, and that's it. Why I asked to, to like, get it off camera is because that's one of the things I know that other people don't. They don't know it. You know? Yeah. They just don't have that perspective. Yeah. Or yeah. Like that, you know? So. It's like, yeah. And I know it's like it's like if you have a bunch of employees and you're just literally buying yourself more times, like time that you can use yeah. each day. Oh, oh, you only have 24. But if you have one employee now, now how much do you have? The, the way I, I think about it too, or uh, kind of similar topic, mm -hmm. but um, for me. The, the way I think about it, bro, I'm like, <clears throat> all right, so so and so over here, you know, how much time they have or whatever. But the, the, the biggest thing, bro, I think, too, is a lot of people, like the people who are employees, is they think about like other people a lot. Because, like, if you're working for somebody, you're probably thinking about them, what they want you to do, and you know, all like that. But a lot of people, too, are like, like when it comes to social media, a lot of people are inspired by like people like, I don't know if you know Gary Vee, people like these entrepreneurs, like people are inspired by them. They spend all day watching them, you know, spend all day looking yeah. at what they're doing. They spend all day getting motivated and inspired to do nothing. They sit, they just sit down and motivated and inspired. Like they're just, like what are you motivated for? Like what are you actually doing? Like, like are you implementing like useful information? And what I realized, I was like, yo, I gotta stop watching all these guys doing it. I gotta stop, you know, and look at these guys and just fucking do it. Just go out and get it. Like, I got the knowledge I need, I have the resources, or if I don't have the resources, I know how to be resourceful enough to go out and get it and stop watching the fucking dudes who are doing it because they're irrelevant. If I wanna be one of those dudes, I can't look up to them. I gotta look at them, bro, peer to peer. You know what I mean? I, don't, I never, never wanna like meet another like high status fucking influencer, entrepreneur, whatever the fuck you wanna call them, and have them be like, Hey man, like your good success story. <laughs> like nah, bro. Like we're on the same level. Like I don't look up to you. Like you're killing it. That's cool. But you're 45 years old. You should be killing it. <laughs> when I'm 45 years old, I'm gonna be doing five times better than you. Type of shit. You know what I mean? So I think another thing too. Like nobody thinks about that. Every, everybody sits down. They're inspired. They're motivated. They watch all these people, but they never actually do it. So it's like, but that's one of the things. Like you have to learn that on your own. If you don't catch that yourself. And you and you like if I just tell everybody that, bro. Most people are like, "What?" You know what I mean? Or they're or they're gonna be like, "Oh, well, this guy gives me information that I can use." But it's like, look, bro, you gotta you gotta stop watching this guy because he's holding you back, or maybe he's you know doing this or he's doing that. But you're not actually going out and getting. You know, so for me, bro, it's just like stop looking at the people that do it and just fucking do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's mm -hmm. the, but nobody knows that, bro. Nobody. <laughs> you know, which yeah. is crazy because if people knew that, they'd be taking a lot more action, making a lot more money. Like I see some people on my social media, bro. They comment on every post. They, you know, buy every product. You know, they watch every video. You know, they, they follow every recommendation. They read every book I talk about. They listen to every podcast I talk about. But like, they just continue to do that over and over and over and over. But they don't actually just shut all that shit off. You know, stop looking at my social media and just fucking work. That's what I did, bro. For like three, four, five, six, seven months, bro. Just worked. Like, fuck everybody else. Fuck the outside noise. Fuck the icons bro and I was like I'm gonna become, <laughs> I'm become <laughs> one bro you know what I mean I was like, I'm gonna become one so I, I think like how you said like people don't have that perspective you know of being another tool they also don't have that perspective of like thinking for themselves like actually doing shit like they're just 
watching people doing shit and it makes them feel good about themselves. Like it makes them feel like they're part of their journey. It makes them feel like they're doing something. They're not. <laughs> they're really not. It's just it's the saddest thing, but you can't really tell anybody that because they won't get it unless it clicks. Unless they figure it out on their own. Which is crazy shit. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. You probably, you probably never even thought about that way either, huh? Yeah. Like, I, I tell people, bro, like, yo, like, I, I tell my inner circle shit like that, but it's like, because they're wired to understand it. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, like, you get so soaked into like, what other people are doing, bro, it's like, and the next thing you know, like, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of your day are gone because you're just watching other people. Like, we, we're starting to put out videos and stuff now, and it's cool because some people need that, need it at first, you know? They gotta get, get they gotta get, they gotta get the right mindset before they can even go do shit, to be honest. So, like, it's very important that people in the very beginning do watch it, but once they're ready, they gotta go. Because I always told myself, because I kind of been ready my life. I just, it's different, bro. You know, kind of like how you were saying, it was just different. And I always was like, why would somebody spend 20 minutes of the day watching somebody vlog? You know what I mean? Not like that, but like, it's different. <laughs> it's different if it's an entrepreneur vlog, bro. Like, it's different if it's an entrepreneur and they give me tips to give me motivation, like, hell yeah. But like people that just watch like funny shit like all day, bro, like all day, like three hours, like some funny shit that's like you're not gonna remember in a year. Like, bro, come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just saw that, bro. I was like, it never really made sense for me. And I didn't really need anybody to tell me that. It was just like, wow, like my life's pretty cool, bro. Why would I watch yours? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's now before my life was cool, bro. But it was like I was in love with what I was doing, which made it cool, you know? So you said work, like what? I just put my head down and I work. What what does that mean? What, how explain um, a day or the, your days? The, the biggest thing for me, bro, was learning. Um, when I first got started, so like e-commerce, play marketing, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. And I remember I was talking to my friends, like, hey, like we should start this, we should do this. And we're like, nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. And I'm like, fuck, like, like I'm on, <laughs> I'm doing this by my own. You know what I mean? So at first, bro, work was like, you know, getting started, learning the communication skills, learning the leadership skills, learning the branding, learning the marketing, but not but like really, really learning it, bro. Like studying, like, so when I say like, don't always like look at these people, people, here's what they do. They, they listen to it and it goes through one ear and out, like, one, out the other, but they don't actually analyze it. They listen to it and get motivated, but they don't, like they're, they're looking from a student standpoint. I look from a teacher standpoint. So like, all right, if I'm watching this guy right here, how can I teach somebody what he just did in that presentation if I had to tell somebody uh, that out of presentation tomorrow? So if, same thing if I'm reading a book. I'm like, all right, instead of just reading this as a student, if I had to explain this entire concept to a class of 500 people tomorrow, how do I need to understand this? You gotta understand it differently. Like it's literally, your mind is like, like you're, you're flipping the whole way you understand it. So I did research, bro, like <laughs> till 3 a.m., 4 a.m., woke up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., like won everything I needed to learn. Uh, what the, uh, successful entrepreneurs are doing, successful uh, influencers, successful businesses, but not like that. Failures, like entrepreneurs who failed and like went bankrupt, or athletes who failed, rappers who failed, went bankrupt, influencers who lost all their fame. And I'm like, what do these guys do good? What do these guys do bad? What is their business standpoint? How does this company make money? How does it not make money? And like, I learned it all, bro. Like, notebooks, notebooks full of note, like notes. And then I learned psychology, bro. Like, like, fat, like. Right. And I, I went to college and I learned psychology in college, bro, but I had a 1.1. I did not get that shit in college. <laughs> but reading books, bro, like, and watching videos, I learned it, bro. And I, not only that, but like, I watched people that were using the psychology. It was like, all right, why does this work like, against people? Why, like, how does he utilize this? How do these companies use psychology to market their products? And then I learned that, bro. And like, I really learned it, bro. I'm saying like, I was not really sleeping, bro. Like, probably unhealthy for a little bit, you know what I mean? I was so hungry, bro. It was like, I was doing it, and now it's to the point, bro, I'm so confident in what I do and like in my abilities, I, I feel like nobody can tell me anything, because I'm like, no. <laughs> I, I, like, I know my game, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm self-aware. I'm also very self-aware that I'm not the best, because other people like, could teach me shit too, so that's why I'm always still like, learning, but I'm learning from a different perspective. So like, when a lot of people tell me shit, I'll listen to the perspective, because it's always a different perspective, but I'm very like analytical, like, uh, like, unless they have the actual facts to, like, back it up, it's like, I'm gonna listen. You know, or I'll take it, I'll listen, but I might, I'm not implementing unless, like, I can find evidence behind it, you know what I mean? Right, right. So the grind was really just learning the game inside out, but, like, long term. I wasn't looking for, like, this, like the, the system to hop in and step one, step two, step three, make money. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking five years down the line, bro. What's gonna help me five years down the line? 
like all my businesses I planned out, I've been planned out for six months online. So it was like always long term, bro. Like investing a lot of my money, like almost everything, back into my businesses, back into my education, back into you know fucking whatever it is, and like pretty much myself because I'm looking like who's gonna be around three years from now, five years from now, really making money, really building the business, like and not just like a little trend pop up and they're gone. So that really that, that was the grind for a while, bro. And it's still the grind, but it's just now I'm actually like building businesses with yeah, it, you know what yeah. I mean? So that, that was my crime, bro. And I'm like, I fucking love it, bro. It makes me feel good to, like, to learn, bro, you know what I mean? Because like, <laughs> it's kind of like, it's an ego thing. Like I don't have an ego on the outside at all. But inside, bro, my ego is like, fucking fueling, bro. Like, I, I make myself feel great because like, it gives me confidence, you know, and, and the, the moves I execute. So learning all this shit, Feels like I feel like I have a competitive advantage, but I'm talking to somebody like you know, whatever it's about, and I'm just like, I know exactly how to read them. <laughs> I know exactly like why things are happening in their lives, like or why you know this happened in their business or this. I just know it all, bro. So it's just like I feel good. It's because like oh, I know that yeah, da, 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 I can teach you this. Da, 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 da. It's like everything makes sense to me. And there's no, like, I, I'll never get stumped if that makes sense because like <laughs> I just put in the hours, bro. I just put in the fucking hours. So, what, what, so that's the business you can you can just, but it's overall like my biggest thing bro is like I'm fucking good at marketing like hands down like I personally in my mind I think I'm the fucking best like all the people better than me but in my mind I know they're and I want to get to be the actual best but in my mind I'm the best and if I'm not the best right now I'm becoming the best so it's like now I use those skills to just build businesses but not only really build them but scale them so I do like a lot of startups and then I'll fucking Put together the market game plan, scale it, all sorts it. Boom, next one, scale it, all sorts it. Like, I teamed up with Fad, bro. I took the business from 30 G's in like two months, and we took it to like 75 G's a month, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 30 G's in 60 days to 75 G's like every 30 days, bro. Like, fast, <laughs> really fucking fast. <laughs> we scaled that bitch, bro. bro. God damn. So, I really just fucking love marketing, bro. And that's my craft, you know? I'm not, I might not be the best. Uh, salesperson might not be the best at managing businesses like that is. That's why I mean that is what they <laughs> yeah. like manage shit. I'm too ADHD to manage shit. But it's like I know my craft though, so when somebody says something to me, I'm like <laughs> you know what I mean? It's cause like I know my game bro, so I don't take anything offensive like someone talks shit. Uh, it's like I don't care. I know who I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like I don't I don't think highly enough of Bobby John on the fucking like uh CEO, whatever the fuck company it is, because like his opinion doesn't really matter because I know my shit. You know, <laughs> like I don't give a fuck if it's Tony Robbins, bro. Like he tells me something I'm doing wrong, yeah, I'm gonna listen to it. But it's like if I actually don't think it's right, I don't give a fuck because <laughs> I know my shit. I know uh, my game, his game is different, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like he doesn't know my game, so he can't really critique me. But I do listen to people that know this game, the marketing game. You know what I mean? What, what made you want to go that route, like marketing versus like a different, you know? Um, I kind of, I was kind of like you, bro, you're talking about it. I always was selling this shit when I was younger. Marketing products online. I started um, selling hats, bro, snapbacks, jewelry, uh, phone cases, um, shirts. Like in high school, like selling on my Facebook to like people other than like local, local to me. But kids at school, bro, I would go to school selling like 20 hats, bro. I, made couple, bro, I bought my first car cash at 15. You know, it was like, it was like 14 G's. But like, I realized like, one, I kind of like talking. <laughs> you know, marketing is like all about communication. Two, I really like psychology. Like I said, like reading people, kind of having competitive advantage, knowing why things work. Like I like to, like if something like, if this, if I find out this happens because of this, I want to know like why. You know, marketing is all like, that's all it is, bro. It's just communication and letting people know, like letting your customers and clients know why this is the better option compared to something else. And I, I did a personality test. My personality is a debater. I like to debate with people. Not because like, like it makes me feel good or like it's an ego thing, but because like it's actually fun to me, bro. Like my mom used to tell me, it's so weird because so my dad's a doctor, bro. I always wanted to be a doctor. And because we're kind of because you put it in my head. Like not really because I wanted to be a doctor, you know what I mean? Like cause low key I'd be realizing like my hands kind of shaky, bro. I can't really do that. Yeah. You know, I get a little, a little seasick. But my mom used to always tell me like, you know, you like to argue or you like to convince people. Like, you should be, you should be a lawyer, all right? And then now I'm realizing you know, as a marketer that low key, if I, if money wasn't an issue, 
or if I was going to college, I'd probably be a psychologist because I like reading people and telling them what the issue is and how to fix it. And I do this personality test and it's like people with your personality are very good lawyers or psychologists. And I'm like, makes sense. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know what really made me want to do it, but it, it's just in my blood, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, just, it's just who I am, I guess. <laughs> about to go all out yeah so now that, i was like that's your crap yeah so it's like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be the best there's no point at all in doing it and like half-assing it if, if i'm gonna ever have to ask anything bro i'm not gonna do it this car right here bro i posted a screenshot of a car almost exactly like this minus the tire stickers on my instagram four years ago bro and i got this car wrapped this is not a car this is you can't get it that color stock i posted this four years ago i said i'm gonna have this before 21. wait how old are you 19. How old were you? 15? Oh, uh, for, so I was like 15, 16, something like that. And I'm like, I'm gonna have this car before I'm 21. I remember there was comments on it. You're not gonna get that. How are you expecting to get that? Are your parents gonna buy it for you? You know, all that shit. And I was at that time, I was like, I don't know, but I'm gonna have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna freaking have it. And I got it, bro. So it's like, this, this little thing, and tons of little things like this, like just telling myself I'm gonna do something and I'm gonna get it. And then every time I actually do it, just boost my confidence even more that lets me know like i'm gonna do it again so like when i'm like i'm gonna get this by my birthday i'm like duh, i'm gonna get it by my birthday fucking i got this before i was gonna be 21 like i said so why can't i get this before my birthday but another thing i noticed too is like your goals tend to happen a little bit later than you think so i thought i could get this like a year ago but all of a sudden i wasn't in a situation to get it yet so i literally got it like my goal that i had on my whiteboard exactly one year later like to the day exactly one year later than the actual goal I have like go to this car. So like, let's say I wanna get it on my birthday or maybe even Christmas time, but like for sure before next summer, for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna have. Yeah, 100%. And it's like, it's just so different, bro. Most people, they don't get it, dude. They really don't, it's so sad. <laughs> but now you, 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 you tell me about like, what you, what you doing about like, eight months ago, nine months ago? Yeah. At 15, you, you, that, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. At 15, you posted that. Yeah. What were, you, what were you doing then? What were you thinking? Like, that thought, you know, like, But I was just, I was thinking on another level, bro. Um, I remember, it's crazy, dude, because a lot of my high school friends hit me up, like, yo, man, like, all of us used to talk about, you know, this, used to talk about that. You're the only guy who actually did it. Like, yeah, like, why would I talk about it if I was gonna do it? You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, like, I never talked about it with your friends, like, oh, when I grew up, I wanna do this, I grew up. I want to have a mansion, I wanna, and it's like everybody talks like that, but they're just speaking out their ass, bro, because everybody gets excited, and everybody gets fired up, but I'm like dead serious when I'm talking about it, like, yo, I'm really gonna fucking do it, you know, and when I was 15, like I said, I was slinging, st I was slinging hats, jewelry, stuff like that, and all of a sudden, I didn't think that I was gonna buy in my car, and I honestly be dead, like, be dead real, like, I had no idea, no freaking idea that I was gonna get this car, but I just knew, like, that if I put out enough manifestation, an opportunity is gonna rise and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna make it happen, I'm gonna run with it. And like, it was to the point, bro, I used to drive a 2002 Toyota Tundra. I bleed in the Tundra, every time I open the door, I pretend it's a GTR, bro. Hop in, I'm pretending like the GTR steering wheel. I'm driving, I'm pretending like it's a GTR. To the point, like, I I got at one point, bro, senior year, I actually like thought I had a GTR. Like, obviously not, like for real, but I felt like I really had one, bro. Because I started going to car meets and linking up with GTR owners and shit. And I was around it so much. Bro, I was like, yo, like, I should have a GTR right now. Like, why don't I have a GTR, bro? I just go to this car meets and everybody has a GTR. Like, it's easy. Like, I should, like, I should have this, bro. Which is why, like, some people hit me up right now, right now, bro. I'm like, you're successful, you know? And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> I should have a McLaren right now. I should have a mansion. Yeah. I should, you know, be running multi billion dollar businesses. I'm not successful. But it's like, I literally believe that that's mine. Like, it's for the taking, bro. So it's like, it's never, it's like, it's not a dream. Like I'm saying, it's not a dream. My whole life, starting at 15, actually, this is what it is. Starting at 15, I always believed that it was mine. Like, people ask me if I have a GTR. No, I bought a key for a GTR, like, like, a year before I got it, bro. I bought a key, just held the key on my keychain, like, for a year, bro. And, like, people were like, yo, why do you have that? Are you trying to act like you have a GTR? I'm like, oh, it's going to be delivered in, like, a year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm getting one. It's going to be delivered in a year. And, like, people are like, what? Are you bought it already? Nah, but it's gonna be delivered in a year. Like, I'm gonna have it in a year, trust. <laughs> you know? And so, like, what I realized, bro, is the biggest thing is believing that I'm worthy of everything I fucking want. As long 
as long as I become ready, bro, as long as I put in the work. But like, everything out that I want, I fucking deserve it a million percent. It's just about timing. And since I believe that, bro, it's just like, it just happened. Like, it's not really a big deal. Like, I think when people overcomplicate their dreams and like, it seems so out of reach, you know, I, I hear people talk about like, yeah, man, like, Conor Mc somebody told me, Conor McGregor is gonna make more money than you'll ever make in this fight. He made 100 million. You'll never make that unless you win the lotto. I'm <laughs> like, you don't know who I am, bro. <laughs> like, I'm gonna fucking make that for sure. That's easy, bro. I'll do that by 30. <laughs> you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I, I didn't even reply to him, too, because I was just like, it's not worth my time. But in my mind, I'm like, these people don't really know. I and mean, then it's like, you can't even tell somebody that because they're like, they won't believe you, bro. So it's like, some shit is you just gotta tell yourself, dog. Like, people don't get it. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Dude, it's crazy. Hey, honestly, I'm really glad I met you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Whoever, whoever's gonna listen to that is gonna get pumped. They bro. are, bro. It's dope. We can't. Bro, this is I was gonna film good a video content, journey, bro. bro man. Just, For real? Yeah. yeah. Like, I was like, yo, bro, I went to this little parking truck store right now, and the guy like kicked us out. Cause I was like, he's about to get his. He wants to get a BMW i8 in like two weeks. He's about to get it, and he's been a dream car for like, four years. And when I bought this, bro, I cried, bro. I really did. Like, when I think about it, I cry. Like, my cousin hit me up, bro. He's like, because he's been on the dream with me the whole time, bro. Like, since I was like, didn't have anything. Bro. I used to train people out of like 100, bro, for 10 bucks, like personal training, fitness. Like, I was making no money, but I mean, I was in high school, so it's not big. Little kids, shit, you know, like, not really making money. And from a year to high school to a year later, making over six figures. So, like, and, but like, bro, I disconnected with everybody from my high school that were my boys since like middle school and elementary school. And, and like, homegirls. And, like teachers, cause every everybody was talking shit on me, bro. Nobody believed in me. Everyone was talking shit, and I literally blocked everybody, unfollowed everybody. Like didn't talk to nobody, bro. Stayed in for an entire summer, just grinding, you know, learning. And he's telling me, bro. He's like, yo, bro. My cousin's like, remember all the times in the, in the tundra, bro, when you were talking about how you wanted to do TR. Remember all the times we doing those training sessions. Remember all those times, you know, showing up to business meetings and nobody would show up. You know, remember all those times. Everybody talking shit on you on Twitter and everybody roasting you at school and people making fun of you and people, you know, keying your, your old car. Like, remember that all, bro. And he's like, and remember that you worked your fucking ass off and that this car is all you and nobody else can take that from you. And I'm sitting here, bro. I think it's getting emotional right now. I'm sitting here, like, breathing it, bro, on my phone. And I, I just picked up my car, bro, and he shot me a text. And I'm, like, tearing up, bro. Like, I, was, I went to go get, like, lunch after. And I'm like, fuck, like, like this is real, bro. Like, I can't do anything, you know what I mean? And I was just like, wow. Like, and that just kind of blew my mind, bro. So, like, that's just a game changer. And I was telling them, dude. So, I was like, when you get your I-8, bro, I was like, everything's going to change, bro. I was like, you're going to be overwhelmed with emotion. Like, you'll feel the same way, bro, when you copy your McLaren. Like, I have no doubt. Like, just talking to you right now, I know you'll do it, no doubt. You know? And you're going to get it, bro. And you're going to be like, damn. Like, you know, like, that, like, it's just so crazy, bro, when the things you think about actually come into your real life. And, like, it's just going to be overwhelming with feelings. So, uh, I started talking about it, bro. It's like, going on and on. I kinda had, you kind of have me in this mood right now, bro. Like, I just talk. I'm really passionate about what I'm talking about. And I was like, yo, bro, I should, I should film a little video about this, you know, because people need to hear this shit. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, nope, they don't know anybody that's ever done any of that. So, they don't think it's possible. The only people they see with nice cars is, you know, wealthy kids that have rich parents. Or people that you know won the lotto, or rappers, or actors, or famous YouTubers, which is not really attainable to like the average person. And what we're doing, bro, like we're trying to build a social media following, but like, like that's not like where the money's from, bro. The money's from building businesses. You know what I mean? So it's like, but most people think they gotta be this famous person to make money. So I'm like, yo, like let me go film this video, talk about how I got my car, and I was like, we got kicked out the parking structure. So I was like, well, let me go. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I'm like, let me go to the spot where my next car is at. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna relate back to this YouTube video right and right now, bro. I'm Ooh. six to twelve months, and I'll be right back here, like, yo, just bought the McLaren. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and people like, they might watch this right now, be like, ah, he's not really gonna do it. And then it's like six, twelve months come by. It's like, ah, I told you guys, flashback. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, y'all, I thought I was joking again. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's what blows my mind, bro. That's what blows my mind. It's really knowing the power of the human mind, like, backed up by, like, actually learning and committing to your craft and hard work. Like, that's what's, like, crazy, bro. Like, the human mind is fucking insane. Like, crazy, bro. I like that, bro. I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. so, so, now, you mentioned dedicating yourself to your craft. Would you say that, like, you got your whip, obviously, you made pretty good money, right? Yeah. So would you say you would have made that money if, if your focus was divided in different things? 
like you because right now you said you're all marketing right? yeah that's your crap yeah you're not boxing you're not playing uh, basketball you're not like yeah so um a lot of people think because i have multiple like, income streams of different industries so people are asking me all the time like yo like are you spreading yourself too thin like should i do that and i tell most people no don't you know do this industry affiliate marketing you know um online sales and do e-commerce like don't do it. it's too much but it's because their craft is not marketing they're just trying to pick something up you know and, and then they're trying to learn all these different things based off of simple steps or you know a process but they don't actually they don't they don't see the game from the inside out they see it from the outside in so it's like i tell them no but for me my game is marketing i can hop into any business anything and make money because i know how to market it you know what I mean? I can sell cars, bro, <laughs> and make racks, you know what I mean? Like, I can market for businesses, or I do market for businesses, you know, and make racks, you know? I market my own business, and I can make racks, but that, because marketing is my craft. So, I, it's a skill that's very universal that I can take anywhere. You know, I can walk in here and help McLaren do shit, probably make more sales, you know, using social media. But that's because that's my craft. But a lot of people, like, marketing is not their craft, so they think they can start this, and then start that, start this, start that, and then they get nowhere. But when you, Find a craft that's very universal. You could just you just plug and play with everything. So like, but like the way you I like the way you asked though because like sports and gym. I like I cut out. I was bro. I could got a track scholarship, bro. Um, I went to freaking CIF three years in a row, varsity for um, triple jump, and I dropped like track, bro. Like a month before CIS, bro. And, like the whole team was like, what the fuck? Like your team captain, your track team, and I'm like. Yeah. I gotta do it. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is not what I wanna do. Like, yes, yeah, free college, I can do this, but like, it's not what I wanna do. You know what I mean? Like, I was I was good at it, but I wasn't passionate about it. My legs were hurting, I was aching. Um, I used to hoop for a little bit. At one point, I thought I'd be in the NBA, you know what I mean? But I'm like, that's not what I'm supposed to do. You know, I didn't find my calling there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, I used to work out a lot, bro. I told you I did personal training. I was ripped, bro. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was like 205 pounds straight muscle. Now I'm like 185, bro. It's like, what, 20, 30 pounds <laughs> of muscle I lost. You know, I was benching, you know, 315. You know, now I probably do like 160. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I cut it out, bro, for months because, like, I was so dedicated and committed to my craft. It was like, I can't do it no more. Like, even though it might only take up an hour of my time a day, that hour is an hour I can be creating. I can be, and not only that, but my focus is off. The biggest thing is focus, bro, for me. So it's like, yes, I can hit the gym. Yes, I can kick it with the girls. Yes, I can, you know, do track. Yes, I can hoop. But during that hour of the time, my focus is not on my goals. It's like, an, it's like people when they do drugs, bro, they drink, like they're escaping the reality. And for me, I found out it was doing that other stuff was escaping the reality because my reality needed to be what my goals were. So for most people, I would say, don't do it unless it's revolving around a universal skill, like for example, marketing, where they can plug in and play. But marketing obviously doesn't really relate to basketball or right, <laughs> track, right, right, unless right. like you figure out there's ways you can do it, make it happen. You know what I mean? If you're marketing for athletes or something like that. Um, but when it comes to just all that other stuff, like balanced, you can be balanced after you're stable. You know what I mean? Because if you try to do it when you're not ready, you're not gonna get anywhere. You know? Right. That, that was the, so yeah, it just depends like in which context you put it in, I think. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's because, you know, when I first started, I said, what do I want to do, you know? And then at 16, I said, I want to be an entrepreneur, you know? I want to build businesses. And mm -hmm. I was playing ball at the time, bro. I was playing soccer, so, you know? Yeah, there you go. Playing club, you know, club takes a lot of practice. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Time out of your, for whatever tournaments or practice. So yeah. I said, if entrepreneurship is the one to go, I said, I'm going to be greater than Warren Buffett. Mm. You know, that, that, that's a fact, you know? Yeah. So I said, if that's my goal, I really have to hone down and focus, yeah. you know? So I said, hey, coach, thank you, but, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I gotta yeah. go, I, I, you know? I just, it's so not I, a different wavelength. That's a fact, you know? So I left soccer, because I, like you said, bro, I wasn't gonna go pro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I said, I'm gonna do what I what, what, what I do best. Where you can go pro. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's a you fact, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> So, sure. you know, so I dropped that, bro, and I said, what, what's the move? You know, what do I have to do? And as you know, a poor person can't teach how to be rich. Bro. Yeah, that, that, that's just mm -hmm. that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, you know. So that's, that's logical science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, know? you so, see people yeah. trying to do that all the time, right? Though. So I said, yeah. I said, bro, no one in my family could teach me how to be rich, bro. Yeah. None of my friends where I lived could, could, could teach. They, they just told me go get a job at Duke's, bro. Go get a job at McDonald's. I said, no, bro, I'm good. You know, I just really never. I said I'll never do that in my life. You know? Yeah. So with that being said, I said I'm going to focus on entrepreneurship. Yeah. Now, 
you know, business has a lot of different like yeah, yeah, yeah. components and you know departments or whatever. So I said, what do I what what business do I want to be? Yeah, you know, I'm talking about industry. Uh -huh. For me, I said, do I, do I want to be in insurance because I was interning at Allstate? Yeah. You know? Do I want to have a, a wholesale food company, right? Or do I want to have like a lead generating company, right? Like, yeah. What do I want to do? You know. Yeah. So here I was tapping into all these different ones, and that's why I asked you, you know, because mm -hmm. focus is, is really the determining factor. Yeah. You know? Like I asked you, would you have that car? You you work really hard for. It. Yeah. Would you have the car if you were trying to be really good at basketball and really good at uh, whatever, dude? Yeah. Volleyball. You know. <laughs> you just you wouldn't. You know. You have to hone hone down on your skill. Hundred percent. So I just wanted to, you know, yeah. say that because that, that's that, just, that needs to happen. Yeah. You know? So, uh, but I, I commend you. So your skills marketing. What, what about what are you working on? I just build up businesses. That's what I like to do, and like manage them. So you have that like yeah. your mind's eye. Yeah, like guess like, you can say that. Bro, like put in perspective, like my last business, uh, bro, I can drive sales, bro. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You know what I mean? You know I can market, but I can't like manage like this. I don't have like the like the critical eye for, for this or that. And like, that shit's overwhelming for me, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like the numbers, the, the difficult shit, like, I don't want to see that, bro. Like I said, like, for me, making money is more place, like, you're very successful, and I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, I still grind, and um, but like I said, like, me teaming up with him is like, I can focus on what I'm best at, specialization. He can focus on what he's best at, which is, you know, building businesses, and I bring in revenue, <laughs> I bring in customers, I come up with marketing game plans, he manages that shit, he executes on it, and it's like we team up, and it's like, <laughs> you know? It's like, it's like we, all, we all have the know-how on what we can do. Like, we, we, like, I can market, he can manage a business, yeah. like, good. It's just he does, like, his job better, I do my thing better, and it's like, you combine forces. Yeah. And ten times stronger. I like that. Yeah. So, so how'd you boys link up? Because you said you're from out of state, no? Facebook Messenger, yeah, bro. Dead ass? Dead ass, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's the funny That's the craziest oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, bro, I told me out there, like, oh, bro, imagine, like, you never hit me up, bro, on Facebook or whatever it was, however we got connected. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, bro, you know, it's funny, actually, how it really started was, uh, I had I had one, like, software company, and he recreated a software company, and then he added an affiliate site on it. And then, like, within, like, and like I said, this is where he comes to this, this is where he gets smart, bro, like, with the business management, like, and he was outsourcing a lot more shit that, and, and leveraging a lot more people that I wasn't really doing yet. I was just utilizing my personal marketing skills, but not on a bigger scale. And I'm like, fuck, like, I need to level this guy, bro. <laughs> he knows what he's doing, bro. And then I teamed up, and then we fucking doubled down, and boom, we fucking blew up that business, bro. Yeah. So um, we were like, we basically had rival companies. Yeah. No, and then really? we just joined forces yeah. and just took over the whole game. <laughs> yeah. So how, wait, how, who, so how, who hit up who, or how'd you guys hear about each other? Uh, I think. Honestly, I don't. Like, what I mean is, like, how did you guys hear about each other? I think you messaged me on Facebook, right? I think I think I reached out to you first, yeah. But yeah. then it was like a while later that you hit me up. Yeah, for your he, he reached out to me first, and he was telling me about his success in e-commerce, um, like selling things. So you already yeah. into that stuff. Yeah, so I was already doing some e-commerce, but this was my first like software thing. That I, got. I, was, I was doing some e-commerce stuff, but I was doing more like affiliate marketing uh, and, and marketing for businesses and stuff like that, consulting. And then so he hit me up. We're, we're like two different industries, but both very like well off in what we were doing. And then I started. Um, software company to help people market on uh, like Instagram, stuff like that, um, on a lot higher scale. And he, I, he was doing Instagram marketing before his e-commerce company, which is very different from what, what I was doing. <laughs> Drop I think shipping. He, 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 he saw, he saw, Drop shipping? Uh, yeah, you know the so, game. Yeah, he saw the, uh, the opportunity there. And because and, when I launched this software company for Instagram, nobody was doing this shit, bro. Like, I was like, I'm very good at, because I do so much research, I'm very good at seeing trends before that happen, way before that happen, and capitalizing off them. Like, but I already know what's gonna be trending in the next six months, and I'm already prepared to fucking hit it the ground running with it, you know what I mean? So it's like, I knew that, and he saw it, but he was like, all right, I, know, I can make this better, you know what I mean? And so he made a better um, business model, but the marketing wasn't as much there, you know what I mean? Because I was mm -hmm. I was good at marketing, but I wasn't as good as the business model. Like, my, my business, they didn't look as clean, like my software company didn't look as clean, they didn't run as fluidly, uh, as his was, it was very fluid, very clean, very like oh, simple, bro, <laughs> for, for the users. Right. But I was very good at bringing in customers, bro, right. like all day. <laughs> and then so like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when we teamed up, bro, it was like it was game over. Right. It was game right. over, bro. Like everybody else in the market, it was like, get the hell out of here. Like right. we got this. It's ours. It's ours. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, yeah, bro. So now and that 
a bigger thing too, because then I was like, that's when I realized, because I was doing a lot of solo stuff, you know? I was like, yo, like, specialization, need a team, need to grow with other people, and that's what shit took off, bro. <laughs> that's my brand, bro. Uh, our brand is Team Jet Set, bro. Squad, bro. Squad of hustlers, entrepreneurs, networkers, uh, influencers, people who want to work together and make a big difference, you know what I mean? So, I've, I rep this, I'll die for anybody on this brand, bro. <laughs> like, I got love for everybody, man. Because I, I think there's like 10, 12 of us, I think, that are representing there right now. Like, really, I can look for like high quality people, like people like, like just putting themselves out there, bro. Like really trying to, like it's not, it's not a lot about the money. You know, everybody that on the team makes good money, but it's like, I'm really, really looking, bro, like on uh, like people's motives. Motives are key, you know what I mean? Like you were talking to me earlier about that, so. I rep this shit, bro. Like, I have a hole in my car, bro. <laughs> team Jesse, Team Jesse. Oh, it's on your tires, too, huh? Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> because I really like, because, bro, it's really, really not about me. No. Like, a lot of people are trying to grow their personal brands and they want to be this guru and they want to be like almighty. And it's like, that's cool if that's what you want to do. But for me, it's like, I'm really about the people, bro. I'm really about the team. I'm really about the impact, like, like the spark of the, the wave more than myself. I think one of the biggest reasons for that too is one of the people who used to inspire the hell out of me uh, on social media they didn't have his name on his profile I didn't know who the hell he was bro like he just had like whatever his social media name was but like nobody knew who he was but he posted good useful relevant information that inspired me bro like I'm in 8th grade ninth grade 10th grade I'm looking at this guy and I'm like yo like I want to be like this guy you know and I kind of figured that I kind of created that same type of vibe and now that's why I like the, the um, glamour is not on me, bro. It's like it's, not even, it's on the team, but it's not on the team. Like it's really on the people. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, people like they love the brand, bro, because it's like shit changes lives. I mean, yeah, I tell people a lot of times that people want to build a brand, and they're thinking, I gotta post on social media. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Um, I got. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, you need all that, but if you really want a strong brand, the only thing you gotta do is just change somebody's lives. Once you change somebody's lives, like. They're loyal to your brand for life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because their the way their path and the road they're going on is because of you. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, and it's like, it's just huge, bro. Like, you change somebody's life, your brand is so strong, bro. You know? So. And how did, how did the team come to be? You mentioned you guys are like a team. And yeah. Um. Cause you you start off alone. You start off alone. And then yeah. Up, yeah, and so I, I didn't even I didn't even join Team Jetset until they were like doing pretty well. Yeah. Oh, for real. Uh, I I'm fairly new to the whole Team Jetset. Yeah. I mean, I would fa fairly new, but like I. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. Well, I, so honestly, it started off me. Um, yeah, I was just branding myself as Jetset Fly, and then I got my cousin involved, and then uh, I started getting other business partners involved, and I started meeting new people, and like really, dude, like. It was just like person, 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 person. I met a lot of people through social media, bro. Like really through social media. And it was like, but people that were hungry, bro. Like people that were consistent months after months after months after months after months. Like not just like, hey, like look at me. I'm willing to work harder than everybody else. I'm willing to do that. And it was like, it was the biggest thing, bro. It was like finding people that were really about what they say. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like, it didn't become like super, super official. It's so really not that long ago. It was just like a concept like that, you know, bro? Yeah. Like, it was just like, this is our squad, like, Tim Jesse, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, like, let's fucking take this shit to the, to the millions, bro. Like, impact millions of people, bro. Like, like so now that's the goal is, like, really, like, on a huge, larger scale. It's like, I honestly, bro, want to go down the fucking history books, bro. Like, not me, but the brand. Right. You know what I mean, like I said, I, I don't even care if people know my name, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the brand, like, I don't, I don't even want the brand that's been a brand. I want it to be, like, a movement, bro. Like, People, they might not even know who the people in the brand are, mm -hmm. but they just know it's like that movement, the Team Jet Set movement fucking changed your life. You know what I mean? Like that shit, that shit gets me, that's, that keeps me up at night, bro. No. You know what I mean? That shit keeps me up at night. That's so. respect, bro. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So anyways, bro, tell, tell me a little about yourself, dude. So, what do you want to know? Your, your background, bro, story a little bit. Um, what yeah, yeah. So you're talking about, you know, wanting to go into business? What, what exactly are you trying to do? Or are so, you? So basically, you know, I was born in Mexico. Uh, I mean, I'm talking what I told you, poor bro. Like, I'm yeah. like dirt poor, bro. Like, you know, like yeah. the street was a dirt, dirt road. 
I was caving in, you know. Shit. Like, it just wasn't good, bro. Mm -hmm. So, well, my mom, you know, she grew up out here in L.A., and she said, I'm going to take my kids out there, you mm -hmm. know. So she brought us out here, single mom, bro. You know, my brothers were, I had an older brother, younger brother. I, I went to, we were like eight, nine years old, you know. Mm -hmm. I was eight, my older brother was nine. Uh, and growing up, you know, I grew up in, in, in South Central L.A. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know where that's at. Yeah. Uh, East Long Beach, you know, like. The hood, you know. Yeah, yeah. So when I was when I was 12, bro, I said, you know, my mom, my mom worked real hard, bro, like real, real hard. And at 12, I remember I had a my buddy Daniel. He like my dude's shoe game was strong, bro. Like <laughs> he just he loves shoes, you know. Yeah. So I remember he told me, hey, Kev, bro, like you gotta change your shoe game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So I had an idea, bro. You guys remember like the, the, the song Teach Me How to Jerk or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do that, bro. So, I used to jerk my <laughs> So I'm 12 years old, right? And you know, I'm at I'm in middle school or whatever, and my bro Daniel was talking about shoes. And we had this idea of creating a, a squad, like a group, and, yeah. and, and, and selling shoes to the group. Mm -hmm. Like that's creating the group and then selling shoes to the group. Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. So I thought of going to LA, buying shoes for 10 bucks, selling, selling it 10 for 15, yeah. and making a profit. That was the first time I had a little Spark, spark, yeah. You know, and and I remember at the time, bro, I was so hungry to make money, bro, because I, I really couldn't ask my mom. You know, she yeah. had no money. You know, yeah. so I, I literally thought of slinging, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. I I wanted money that bad, you know, but I didn't do it. You know. Yeah. Thank God, bro. Thank God. For you know, real, bro. Mm -hmm. you might not be standing here right now, bro. bro. True. You know? So I didn't do that, bro. And the whole shoe thing, I mean, I didn't really succeed because I didn't know how to sell. Yeah, yeah, You know, so maybe sold a, sold a pair or two or whatever. Then I moved, my uncle, hold on, give me a sec, bro. Bought a snack, I said, no, that, I'll tell you guys what, the, the, the biggest, I, I wanna say like, determining factor was in my life, bro. You know? Yeah. And God, bro. God, like, mm -hmm. you know, when I was 12, bro, I was, I, got, I was so hungry to make money, bro. You know, now I'm not talking like millions. My my head wasn't even on that. Like yeah, can't even think. Can't even. Like I can even think of, of, yeah. of a hundred dollar bill. I just thought of like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Like money to eat, you know. Mm -hmm. And I sold a few shoes. I didn't know how to sell. Whatever, dude. Yeah. At 14, I moved out here to to like Westminster Huntington Beach area. Mm -hmm. And you know, I remember my mom used to buy shoes at Ross for us. You know. Yeah. And I remember my mom bought me like, you, you remember the PFYs? Yeah. I, love those. <laughs> I, got, I got like a, a pair of a kit, a PFYs, bro. And I, I said, I'll get an extra pair and, and sell it to a bro at school or something. Yeah. So I started sell, selling shoes from Ross, bro, like the, the PFYs. Yeah. And then uh, I didn't think much of it. Like, it wasn't like I thought, I was just like subconsciously doing all these things, you know? Like, I wasn't really aware that I was doing it or that that could like lead somewhere yeah and i was just kind of it was like out of habit or whatever it's just like a little thing like it's just you're just doing it right right so what was it 15 you know i i saw i can make money out of tie-dye t-shirts because all my bros wearing tie-dye t-shirts at school so i mm -hmm. went bought like shirts wholesale whatever tie-dye yeah, you know, yeah, yeah in my backyard and i saw, flipped them you know i sold them it wasn't until 16 bro this is like i hope whoever watches this bro like you know really like takes this to heart like when I say God, bro, like, I mean God, bro. You know, like, at 12, he took me away from, like, doing drugs, doing, I never touched a drug in my life, no mm -hmm. alcohol, having, you know, none of that, bro. At, was it 14, you know, was, no, 16 now. 15, at 16, I said, how can I make money, you know? Yeah. My brothers were, like, going to uh, Carl's Jr., because at 16, you can get a job, you know? Yeah. Like, Carl's Jr., I mean, anywhere you can think of that fast food, they were hitting it, you know? I said, I don't want to do that. So I was at Marshall's, Sabo and my mom, bro, okay? Mm -hmm. And I see a clipper on like a, a, a rack or whatever, like the hair clippers. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I'm about to cut hair. Like, if, huh. if, if I can make money, I'll cut hair, whatever. No way. So I, I started cutting hair, bros, okay? And then it wasn't until God, bro, and I, I can mention God, at school, bro, I, was, I, wasn't, I just wasn't a good student, you know? Yeah. I really, I, I, I didn't try We're to all school. on that wow. same boat. <laughs> you know? yeah. I just, I just, you know, so, I like ran for, was it my sophomore year, bro? My sophomore year of high school, 15, 16, mm -hmm. I ran for ASB president, bro. And I won, right? I was like, the, the president of the school got kicked off because I, I failed. I failed the class. Oh, and that shit. pissed me off, bro. I was like, bro, like, I, that was one of my dreams, you know? Like, I wanted to do that. Yeah. Then I said, you know what? Whatever, bro. Like, it, it's all good. Next year, my senior year, I'll be the senior class president, right? So I ran for senior class president, bro. I mean, I'm good with people, you know? Yeah. So I won. I won again, okay? Guess what happened? Off. Kicked off again, okay. But oh, but check shit. it out. That time, bro, I had like a three point out, okay. Mm. I said, why why are you kicking me off? You know. They said, bro, like you didn't have the grades before, and like you're uh, in a leadership position, whatever, you know. So they kicked me off, and this is when this is a lesson I learned, okay. 
if you take care of business, nobody can take what you want from you. Yeah. Like, you feel me? So when I when I learned that, I said, okay. Now, mind you, I was I was in the victim mentality. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you study psychology. You know about the yeah. Whole, learn helplessness and, and you know. So I said, bro, you know, one of the teachers said, when I, when I mentioned God put people in my life, he literally put three men in my life, okay? One of them said, Kev, you can be a victim or you can be a victim. Like, you can you can complain a lot about why you can't do what you want to do or you can do it. Yeah. And then this is the this is when I started dreaming big because of this man. He said, Kev, do you want to make $10 for the rest of your life or do you want to drive a Ferrari? I said, bro, hey, $10 ain't too bad, you know, when I was, yeah. when I was 16. But I said, no, I would want a Ferrari but I couldn't I, I didn't even think that that could be a life I could live yeah where I, I could drive this. it's so like I started talking about bro like people can't formulate that bro like like for me like all you know is what's around you so you ain't never seen nobody driving a Ferrari right, right. how the fuck are you gonna get it bro that's a fact <laughs> you know what I mean that's a yeah, fact right? you just you know I grew up poor bro you yeah know? all you saw in the hood was dudes walking trying to hit you up or whatever <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. you don't see this bro you know, so with that being said, that bro, stop being a victim and make life happen for you. Two, you know, do you want ten dollars for the rest of your life and be poor, or do you want to be successful and rich? You know. Yeah. And the third one was the one that hit me, bro. Okay. He told me, Kev. Okay. Here's a guy that was homeless, bro. Okay. He was homeless. He's on one of the top motivational speakers in the world. Tom, uh, Eric Thomas. I'm sure you know about. Oh him. yeah. Okay. That pumped me up, bro. This guy burnt a CD from me, bro. He burnt a CD from me in his office. He said, "Go home and listen to this." Okay. God, bro. Oh, shit. I, hey, they didn't have to do that for me, bro. Yeah. They really like, didn't. Bro, it's fucking. That, hey, mm -hmm. I, I, top talk, bro. That's what I. That's what. I, that's what I mean by God, bro. Like, if God, those men would. They, they didn't have to do that for me. Yeah. You know. So with that being said, I went home, bro. Literally, bro. Little apartment, okay. Little two story apartment, bro. Not two story. Two bedroom apartment, okay. My mom, my brother, my stepdad, and I, bro. I play that in, bro. Mind you, I was 16, playing ball. What? I wasn't that good at ball, though. Yeah. I, I don't think I was gonna get a scholarship. Uh, you know. I didn't have good grades to go to college. I don't think I, I would have, you know, yeah. whatever, okay? So with that being said, I said, I'm gonna go for entrepreneurship, okay? Whatever that means. I found my passion, you know? I started listening to like motivational videos, books or mm -hmm. whatever. And I said, bro, I'm gonna go all out for this, okay? Whatever this means, I'm, I'm gonna be like Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, okay? Yeah. I already got the name of my company, bro, conglomerate, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna own all these little businesses under it, right? Mm -hmm. With that being said, I said, what do I have to do to get there, you know? What do I really have to do to get there? You have to learn, bro. That's a fact. The more you yeah. learn, the more you earn. 100%. You feel me? So 100%. I said, if that's what I got to do, I got to invest. Mind you, I had no money, bro. I didn't have a job. I wasn't going to get a job. I told my mom, invest in me, okay? I said, inv let's go to Barnes & Noble and buy me one book, man. I just want to like, I promise I'm going to pay you back, man. Yeah. I told my mom. She took me to Barnes & Noble. She bought me a book on business plan and the intelligent entrepreneur. The first two books she bought for me, bro. I went home, bro. I, I cracked this open. I started listening to it, bro. When you talked about, I literally learned about psychology, right? You were talking about that, and, and you just honed down to three yeah. in the morning. That's what I did, bro. Day and night, bro. Day and night. You talked about, like, you know, what, is it going to be balls? Is it going to be girls? I got to focus, right? Like, yeah. you know, your craft. I, I didn't have a craft. I said, well, I, I just want to be a successful man, so I have to learn how they think, right? Yeah. Notes, day and night, bro. Day and night. Literally, bro. Just hours on hours on hours for a year. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay. You hit him up, right? On, on Facebook, you sent yep. a message. That sparked this. That's why you're here today, right? Yeah. That's another point I want to bring up. Like, you, d life happens to you if you let it. If you make life happen, it'll happen for you. You mm -hmm. made that happen. It yeah. didn't just get there. Right? 100%. So with that being said, I said, all right, bro. I need to take action. Is it enough learning? Okay. I need I need, a, I need, I need to, like, step up, right? Mm -hmm. So a guy came to my school, bro, to donate some coffee. He said, hey, you know, uh, thank you guys for, like, you know, whatever. Donated this coffee for my uh, business class, Rich Hunter Price. So anyway... I tell this guy, what do you do? He goes, insurance. Warren Buffett owns Geico. Oh. I said, bro, oh, I got to learn from this guy. He's in that industry. I got to learn from him, right? Yeah. So I'll make it short, bro. Long story short, I said, all right, I'm going to go to that guy's office and tell him to be my mentor, bro, and teach me about business. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do, right? Yeah. So long story short, bro, the next day I go to his office right after lunch, bro. I said, I'm about to go. Mind you, during, during my fourth period class, bro, I'd be in the computer. I was in computer, computer, computer lab. I play motivational videos, bro, and just zone in. Mm -hmm. Zone in, bro. I just didn't know what to do. Like, what do you do? You know? Like, yeah. actually, you, you were lost. You feel me? Like, what what, steps, yeah. what moves do you make? You know? Long story short, bro. So I get, I go to this guy's office. I'm like, hey, I want to be successful. You know? Will you teach me about business? Can I just come and learn from you? You know? Can I get an internship here at your company? 
will you, will you be my mentor? Just teach me, right? Yeah. He said, you're too young. You know, uh, go take the soft skills course and you, maybe you can come back. Okay. So I tell him, all right, I'll go get the course and I'll come back and I'll talk to you and I'll have it. I go, the guys didn't want to give it to me, right? So I come back and I tell him, hey, they didn't give it to me. Can I just come and learn? Like, I just really wanted to learn, you know? So anyway, I was willing to learn, bro, and I was so hungry. I worked for him for six months, now I'm paid. So uh, I, have, I have this philosophy of like, the, when you're young, work to learn, not to earn. Yeah. Or at least when you're trying to start, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to, bro. That's a fact. So I said, all right, bro, I I'm willing to do whatever, okay? I was doing that, bro. And at the time, my mom, my, my, my sister, was trying, was trying to start a restaurant. So, you know, I had this internship, and then I was helping my parents manage the restaurant and, and you know, bring the restaurant up. And they were selling alcohol, they were doing all that stuff, and I was like, nah, I don't, I don't want to do that, you know? Yeah. Because I, God, bro, like, I, I wouldn't want to do that to anyone else, you know? Yeah. So, with that being said, I said, I, I, wanna, I need to start a business of my own now, you know? So, at the time, I, I didn't know what to think. I, I got into, like, uh, I wanted to learn about affiliate marketing with the uh, Learn or whatever, Learn, whatever the guy's name is. His, his company's name is Learn or whatever. Yeah, yeah, a Nick single or something. What that guy? So, you know, I, I wanted to talk into that, but I'm like, that's just it's not my thing, you know? Like, yeah. I, I didn't want to do that. So, um, kept running my parents' restaurant, and then after that, bro, I met a, a really awesome guy. Uh, on a, on a, like, bro-to-bro -bro level, like, you know? Yeah. I, I'm really happy I met you guys, bro. Yeah, bro, this is fucking dope, honestly, honestly. bro. <laughs> I haven't been rolling up like this in a while. And, and I'll tell you what, bro. You guys got a bro for life, okay? Yeah, for real. Word. Like, that's a fact. Okay, and I believe <laughs> yeah. in you, bro. I don't even know what you guys, like, are doing. Like, you told me a little bit about Team Jet Set. Yeah. I don't even care about what you guys are doing. Yeah. Just the fact that I met you guys, bro. It's not the same, same wavelength, bro. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Uh, I was sure really? first, bro. I saw you pull up. I'm like, who, like, who is this guy? Yeah, I was like, yeah. someone's, I, someone's I, pulling I, up. I'm like, I'm like, why, why is he pulling up behind me, man? And then all of a sudden, I'm talking to him, like, oh, this guy knows his shit a little bit. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Hey, bro, you know, it's just, I'm telling you, man. We, you know what my goal is, bro? None of my bros, dude, none of them yeah. are trying to do what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. None of them want this. Yeah. They're, they're okay living with how they're living, you know? So one of my goals, bro, and, and that's why I say I'm happy I met you guys, bro. Yeah. It's to find people, bro, wherever God puts them, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what my dream is, bro? To drive my my car, my dream car. Either one of these, bro, I, I'm thinking like a 65 LT, McLaren 65 LT. Yeah. Was it hot? Or like a, a, a Mentador or something. I don't know. I love the Mentador. <laughs> but, but just driving down the street with us, with our squad, bro. Like yeah. my, my bros, you feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's that's just what I'm envisioning. Man, that's it. You feel I, me? I, I, I've done it before, bro. No. Not necessarily with this car, but in the past, I, lo I love to surround myself uh, with those type of people. And I started a car crew, bro, back in high school. I was the only person that didn't have an exotic car. I started an exotic car crew, bro. But I was, what? I was driving with all these dudes with Rari's and GTRs, and like, felt good, bro. I was like, yo, like, these are my people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Obviously, I wasn't there, nowhere near there, bro. But it was like, hey, like, I was putting myself around it. And now, bro, like, now my homies are starting to cop cool cars, bro. Like, he's in the I-8. I got this. And tell you, my homie, it's cop a Lambo, bro. Two of my neighbors that are now probably together, too. Like, the river I met them was rambling. They just moved to my apartment complex. Oh, shit. They're getting, one of them is getting their tested tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. We're tomorrow. Gonna film that. But, like, literally, so two, they're two cousins, and they both just cop Teslas, bro. Like, and they were, like, so like same story as me, bro. They were college students, like, and, and uh, the parents, you know, weren't very well off. I think, like, kind of like you, um, like single parent, you know, trying to help them, you know, more than they can help themselves. And now they're crushing it, bro, e-commerce too. And it's like, bro, I just met them by like, like serendipity, bro. This is like, it was so random, bro. Like how we kind of met, like randomly, it was so random. And now like my boys just got back from a cruise, like literally like two days ago. And like, I went with all these guys, bro. And it's just like, like these are my, I'm saying about to die for these guys. Like these are my squad. And like everyone's getting cool cars. And obviously it's not all about the material. It's so different, bro, it's just different. Like. Like it's almost like like a video game, bro. Like it's not real life. Like what you mean, bro? Like like I mean it, it is real life. Like for me in my mind is like it's supposed to be this way, but for everybody else it's like it's not supposed to be that way. So it's like doing this type of shit is like like when I say it's different, bro. It's like normal people look at it and they're like, like it doesn't make sense in their head. So they try to justify reasons of why like people don't deserve that type of stuff or why they didn't get it and somebody else got lucky and did it. And we were like, my squad, bro, is just like, let's like a video game, bro. Like, let's level up. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so it's just it's dope, bro. I love it. 
I like that, bro. Yeah. Let's level up. <laughs> Let's Hell level yeah. up, bro. Let's skip a few levels all around the way up. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I like to think about it. I'll tell you guys what, bro. I, I gotta go in, but I, yeah. I have to link up with you guys again, bro. Yeah, yeah. Down, bro. Take down my number for sure. Yeah, I want you to take my number too. Hey, I want you to, uh, yeah, give me your number. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. Cool, bro. Hey, hey keep, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Yeah, yeah, hey, it was nice buddy. meeting you, bro. It was nice meeting you, man. Cool, bro. We'll link up, yeah. Yeah, you got for it. For sure. We'll probably end up seeing you, or I'll at least end up seeing you here. Again and again. A few more times. I'm, I'm gonna be here, bro, until I'm, I fucking buy one of those dogs. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, we'll catch you later, bro, yeah? If you made it this far, guys, well, first, congrats. I hope the popcorn was good. Or the vodka. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I don't know what you're doing. Um, I hope you guys took notes. I hope you guys learned something. I mean, I'm sure you guys learned something, okay, from that. Or, like, you guys are learning something. If you are interested in the course, you can get 55% off. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep. Honestly, you know, like, I'm thinking just, like, like closing off the course just so I don't like saturate shit. Um, but if you want 55% off, use the code 5K, literally just 5K. All right, the link will be in the description um, with the code already applied, so you just click that if you are interested in that. If you did like the speech and just what we were dropping, you, you can subscribe to my buddy Josh's channel. This is also linked in the description, all right? Uh, it'll, I'll also like, like you'll see words right, like right, like right here, okay? Um, God damn, I'm tired, bro. Look at these bags, all right. Um, what else am I talking about? Oh, yeah, subscribe to Josh's channel, like the Facebook page, like 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 my Facebook page, like the X Commerce Facebook page, follow my Instagram account, do all the fun stuff. Always plug the content. I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I always try and get back to you guys' comments. You know the drill. Comment hashtag plugged if you found something of value in this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm fucking tired. I need some sleep because my buddy, who's also in our squad, is actually picking up a Tesla tomorrow. I might make a video on that too. Who knows, right? He's also drop shipping, so fuck it. I will make a video. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the video. Take it easy, fam. Peace.